Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now Nodia has announced that Top 11 3D is coming on 27th March. And in this video I'm going to take a look at some gameplay and try to break down the different aspects of this game so that you can have some insight on what to expect once 3D mode drops. And a like to the video is always appreciated. And if you enjoy the content, a sub to the channel would be marvelous. Now let's break down the 3D gameplay using this video I received from one of the members of my Discord server. Now the first thing you're going to look at is the user interface. It's really good and it gives me FIFA vibes. Um, I'm not trying to say that they copied but I'm just saying someone who designed this has definitely played FIFA before. Next thing you're going to look at are the player jerseys. Now for these jerseys, uh, unfortunately, if you have a really nice kit, it's going to just go down to that default base color of that kit. You're not going to be able to see those different patterns onto the players. And the animations are pretty stiff. But on a more positive side, there's been increased crossing. So I guess we shall be getting those far post headers. However, from all the content I've been looking at, the crossing has improved more. Um, more chances are being created from crosses. And this means more goals can actually now be scored from crosses. Compared to the normal 2D mode where like 80% of the crosses are usually just either cleared away or they don't reach the target. And as someone who uses a very wing intensive formation, this is good news to me. The next thing we're going to focus on are the free kicks. First look at this. You see, as he is standing, he's on the right side right now. And he's going to use his right foot. And watch as the ball sails into the far side corner. That's an improvement to the game. Because usually, whatever side that player is on, if they are going to shoot the free kick, they can only score if it goes to the near side. Now, you may say, yes, that's the only thing that's going to happen here. However, here is another clip of him doing the same thing. And this time round, instead of going for the first side, he goes for the mere side and he misses, barely. Now this is a clip of a free kick specialist. You can see the curve there and in my opinion, I think free kick specialists will always go for the near side. They will not go far side. And if they are to go far side, I think they will always miss that. Now I identified one bug, watch closely. Did you see that? Okay, let me play it again for you. This it's now this bug is common like in almost all the videos I've seen I've, it always shows like you know Ronaldo made the save yet he's the one that actually took the shot. Here is another clip that shows this bug in action. Now this bug is a bit harmless however it is annoying to look at look at their reactions well now moving on to this thing i mean our players can't hear instructions over the crowds cheering that's definitely going to piss off a lot of people that's all i have to say about that honestly another thing that i've noticed that's quite the step in this video is that the positioning of the defenders is quite poor and there are so many new creative ways in which players can score different goals. So I do not think hard defending and defending will be very overpowered due to a combination of these two factors. And the bad positioning isn't only limited to the defenders, also the goalkeeper. Like, what is he doing right there? So most definitely, normal or attacking may be the new meta in top 11. That is what I'm seeing right now from all these things that are happening. This positional problem also affects the attackers in some way. Though it's not very common, I've seen it like three times happen whereby the player has open space but decides to go back into traffic and then, you know, try a shot on a weird angle. But it's not as bad as from the defensive perspective. Another thing I notice is that everyone who's set to take a penalty uses their right foot. I've not seen any left-footed penalty shooters. Now to the brother that submitted to me this content, thank you very much, but your formation is bad. You deserve to lose this match. I mean, 451V gets your formation properly. Actually, anything with a DMC will do. Anything with a DMC will give your formation serious trouble. 
finally let me just talk about something that may excite you guys top 11 3d has some skill moves well some is a very big overstatement there are only three different types the first one is the roulette the second one is the flick and then the third one is the reverse ball roll yes those are the only skill moves available yet however as time goes by i'm quite sure they're going to be adding more skill moves and different animations into the game with that being said that's all i had for you today but before i sign out i want to talk a little bit about the hot shots now i released a video talking about how it was making top 11 way too much pay to win now i think a few guys at nodias looked at it and uh decided to you know take the advice a bit i say a bit because it actually didn't come out well they released a few bundles um still not worth it come on nodias i know you guys can do better than this a five dollar pack with only two playstyle boosters ten dollar pack only two playstyle boosters yet there was a 19 dollar pack that had 10. and i don't want to rant about this um they know what to do the problem is probably with us as we keep on buying these things despite there being very little value for money so i'm sure someone from that department is going to look at this and tell them to change something i spent over 20 dollars this season alone and i still feel like i'm below the pay to win level you get what i'm saying it may be pay to win but they do make it like over pay to win because those people that actually spend way too much just they're on easy mode like this youth academy association event someone with like 500 tokens can easily beat that event from start to finish alone that in itself is a serious issue that needs to be addressed how can someone come and do all that yet an association is struggling you know together to beat the event and one person can come by and beat it i, I don't know that doesn't make any sense Okay, I'm ranting on for way too long. I'm going to release a video every day till Top 11 3D is released. Some will be short. So, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss all those nice uploads. Because I'm going to keep on breaking down the different 3D elements in detail. With that being said, I'm supporting Real Madrid tonight. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.